sudden, the fun just begun. <laughs> I always tell people, watch, just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him box. Yeah. The kid can fight. 100%. Yeah. And that Tommy Fury fight yeah. really showed that. He doesn't, I'll tell you what, the one thing he doesn't want to do is fight Mike. No. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't know. I don't give a f if he's 55. Yeah. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike I've... trains every day. He trains with Rafael Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. He runs King's uh, Mixed Martial Arts. And Rafael is a world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the mitts for Tyson, and Tyson smashing the mitts, yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah. Like, I don't give a if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. If Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just bobbing and weaving, he's going to have a, a recognition. Yeah. He's going to look over and go, oh, my God, that's yeah. really Mike Tyson. Yeah. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have faced off in an epic battle. It looks like we are about to witness one of the bloodiest fights yet as both boxers have begun their training sessions. I did. I did. In preparation for his return fight against Jake Paul, Mike Tyson has kept fans' hopes up by posting daily clips from his training camp. It's day one. The fun just begun. As all was going on, Mike Tyson talked about his altercation with Jake Paul on a podcast featuring Joe Rogan. While Tyson was on someone's boat, where Paul also seemed to be, he described meeting Jake Paul, noting that they were in the same vicinity, effectively occupying the same space. Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao was big, but culturally, you versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I love that. Sounds good. Hey, oh everybody, my listen. God. Continue, Are please. you listening to this? <laughs> if he's willing to do it, you know how crazy it is if he's listen, willing I to do Jake it? I saw Jake Paul. I was in St. Bart's. I was in St. Bart's, and I was, I don't know who you, yeah, I was, I was on somebody's boat. And he... Rogan retorted by drawing attention to the possible size of a fight between them and implying that it would be noteworthy because of the large amount of attention it should garner. Tyson gave his response, expressing his excitement and willingness to move forward with the proposal. He's a lovely guy. All right, put a picture of me. His and brother's great part. too. Logan's Can a really you do nice that, guy. Please? But my point me. is, that fight would be gigantic. Because oh, first of all, everybody would want to see yeah. what. Let's do it, Jake. Jake's opponent, an elderly Mike Tyson, has drawn criticism from Eddie Hearn. Hearn considers himself a die-hard boxing enthusiast. And while the bout benefits the company financially, he finds it upsetting to watch Mike in this state. Hearn stated, I guess if you criticize it, you're a hater, aren't you? So I'm probably not the best person to ask because I love the sport of boxing. I find it incredibly sad, but it's a big event, you can't deny that. But is he 60 yet? Mike Tyson? 58? Something like that. One of the greatest fighters that ever lived. But I'm one of a small percent of absolute mad boxing lovers that it actually breaks my heart to see that. Tony Jeffries, a former Olympic boxer who is now a coach, was asked if he had ever thought about the possibility of the great boxer Mike Tyson trying to show his power over a less experienced opponent. In response, Jeffries offered a meaningful and real analysis of the situation. Mike Tyson's last professional fight was nearly 20 years ago in 2005, although he did have an exhibition fight with Roy Jones Jr. four years ago, where Jake Paul, on the other hand, has been having fights regular, keeping active, training as good, if not better, than most professional. Former world champion Amir Khan has given his prediction for the anticipated fight between the legendary Mike Tyson and blogger Jake Paul. Khan is of the opinion that Iron Mike will clinch a victory through an early knockout. Amir Khan said, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Wow, no one would have ever expected a fight like that fight to be made. Mike Tyson is a legend of the game and not someone who you want to mess about with. Even though he's older now and has been retired for a long time, he's obviously done a few exhibitions. I just feel that he can really hurt Jake Paul. I just can't believe what Jake Paul's thinking. He's fighting a heavyweight great and I think he can get hurt badly. Khan questioned the reality of the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, suggesting that it might just be a hype strategy as they both announced it simultaneously. He expressed his astonishment and concern, hoping that Tyson would not seriously injure Paul. According to Khan, is it just hype with Mike and Jake posting it at the same? This is unreal 
and I hope that Mike doesn't end up hurting him because at the end of the day, I like Jake. But Mike is not a person you want to mess with or do an exhibition with, especially when you're a lot smaller and lighter. I don't know how this is going to go. Is it really going to happen? It amazes me and I'm shocked. I've got Mike Tyson winning by knockout. Even though he's in his 50s, he's still a dangerous guy not to be messed with. Boxing legend Manny Pacquiao also believes that Jake Paul cannot beat Mike Tyson. Honey, what do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh, that fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh, they're, gonna, they're, they're going to fight, huh? Yeah, they're, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> According to George Glinsky of TalkSport, Ariel Helwani of the MMA Hour offered some initial insights on the subject. Helwani said, They're still working on a few important details based on the conversations I've had. Is it pro or is it an exhibition? They want pro, but that's up to the Texas Commission. We'll have to wait and see. Wait? I'm told heavyweight. Rounds? I'm working on that as well. Mike Tyson's longtime friend Zab Judah recently gave an insight into Tyson's preparation for the match. Judah stated, I personally think that the Mike Tyson, that we know, the animal, the lion, he's going to show up. That is scary. If Mike is taking this fight on, and evidently he knows exactly what he's doing, and trust me, Mike is going to be Mike. I don't get that from Mike. When Mike gets in the ring, he handed me business. So if he took on a Jake Paul challenge, Jake Paul is going to have a problem. Chael Sonnen shares some crazy predictions while in a podcast. Just right now, Jake Paul is set to fight Mike Tyson July 20th. I swear to God! I was with Mike Tyson one week ago in Saudi Arabia. The first thing I thought is how lean he was. He's got an aura. By the way, Mike's gonna be 58 years old at this fight and Jake's gonna be 27. And can Mike still beat Jake or no? Jake will beat him, but yeah, Mike could go with you him. You think Jake's gonna beat Mike yeah. Tyson? I don't see how he can just go take an L to Jake Paul. He's buddy. 30 years older. Sometimes grandpa's gotta whoop up on some kids. I right know. now, I get out of breath running to the bathroom here. Imagine 60 years old. Manny, with all due respect, you're not Mike Tyson. In the contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. Matt Brown, a UFC welterweight contender, feels that fighting Tyson at this point in his career would be a step backwards and against the course of his career. Brown said, I think that's probably the biggest thing here. It's a lose-lose for him. Obviously, he's going to get a bag. We're all going to watch it. I'm sure Netflix is paying him well. We're all going to watch it. We're going to talk about it. Jake is getting that. But it's a lose-lose in actual fighting. You can't lose to a 60-year-old man, and you also can't beat a 60-year-old man. It's a lose-lose. It's garbage to me. According to to Brown, Paul is assuming the character of the adversary or heel in this situation in order to attract people who want to see him lose. Brown added, Jake obviously, he's doing that because he wants to be in that position where everybody wants to see him get knocked out and that's why they're going to watch. He wants to be the heel but it's a 60 year old man and so he's probably going to be able to pull it out. That's an obvious storyline. Earlier, Derek Chisora, the British heavyweight, had revealed that the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson match would be using 18 Oz gloves and head guards. He also added, so we're watching a sparring match. It's a fucking joke. You think I'm paying to watch that? This revelation ended up creating more outrage against the matchup. Now, in a tweet that cuts straight to the chase, Michael Benson delivered the news everyone was waiting for. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson on July 20th will absolutely not have the fighters wearing headgear. Jake's MVP co-founder Nakisa Badarian has now confirmed. When everyone is talking about the possible fight between Mike Tyson 57 and Jake Paul, Conor McGregor doesn't seem to be interested in the show. The Notorious, speaking to champion Championship round said. Your thoughts on this uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight? Oh geez, I don't. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. The interest is a long one. I don't know. I don't really. It, it, I don't understand it. I wish well for Mike. Nonetheless, Campbell Hatton has voiced concerns, claiming that Mike Tyson's training videos might have fooled fans into believing he's prepared to face Jake Paul in the ring. He implies that the conflict is being intentionally supported by the video. Hatton said, People are getting carried away because Tyson looks incredibly formidable in training videos, but people are justifying the fight based on his training prowess. If Jake Paul knocks him out due to Tyson's age and diminished resistance, it could mislead young fans. It might give the wrong impression to newcomers who've been introduced to boxing through YouTube. After learning of the fight between Tyson and Paul, Oscar De La Hoya expressed concerns about Tyson's safety when he faced Paul, a somewhat younger opponent. Golden Boy Promotions' chief executive officer was against Tyson facing a competitor who was 30 years younger than him. Oscar said, I have been preaching since the beginning with Jake Paul that he actually can do it. He can get a world title, but only if he takes a different route. This route going up against Mike Tyson is not just the right one for me. I mean, Mike Tyson's 60 years old. Jake Paul's what? 26-27. If Jake Paul wants to take boxing seriously, take the route that all the other fighters
fighters take. Tough fights up the ranks. Top 10 fighters, top 5 world champion. Not this rote with Tyson. Meanwhile, Tyron Woodley, a UFC Hall of Famer who faced defeats against Jake Paul in boxing twice, is confident that Mike Tyson will emerge victorious against the YouTube star turned boxer. He said, if he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson at 58, 59, 60, 71, he would join the other 99% of the regular motherfuckers on Earth. That's what I say. Woodley asserted that Tyson's experience holds greater significance than Paul's physical attributes and talent. Jake Tyson true loose, man. He's fighting the person, the one fighter that most people fear. I feel like 58, 27, the age is not a factor. That's a wash, right? Just watching the dude hit pass in the bag. Like, I always have this inside joke. How much would you have to get paid to fight Mike Tyson? I'm like, shit, I'll never be able to spend it. Yeah, but don't you think that if Jake Paul knocks out 58-year-old Mike Tyson, people are going to say, congratulations, you knocked out somebody who's 58 who hasn't fought professionally in a very long time. I disagree. I think that if Jake Paul beat Mike Tyson, I don't give a if he's 70. You're going to have to put a, at least an ounce of respect on his name. Mike Tyson right now, off muscle memory alone, he can have a flashback, right? He can step on the wrong eggshell and let off a combination that can kill most people. No bullshit. Carl Frock, the former world champion at super middleweight, has criticized the 27-year-old for attempting to disgrace a legendary boxer by challenging him much beyond his peak. Anyway, I'm minding my own business, and I stumbled across the news that Jake Paul is fighting the legend, the icon, Mike Tyson. What is going on? My, listen, as soon as I heard that, I just thought, this cannot be happening. You can't be putting a mid-20, a guy in his mid-20s, in against a guy that's approaching 60 years old. And Mike Tyson's had some wear and tear in his career. He's smoking quite a bit of weed these days. I'm sure he's got a walking stick and he's got, he's got back problems. Now, when I first heard that this fight was happening, I was thinking, surely not. Surely this is like a bit of an exhibition or a bit of a gimmick or they're having some kind of a, a steady move around. But Jake Paul is actually officially taking on Iron Mike Tyson. He used to be the baddest man on the planet. You all know Mike Tyson, you know what he is. He's an icon in the professional boxing world. And Jake Paul's not even a pro boxer. So when I heard this fight was happening, I was absolutely disgusted and I think it's The Cobra has made no secret of his distaste for Paul and the two men have engaged in verbal sparring on social media in the past. However, the former Disney star accused Paul of being in it for the money. Since Tyson, a 57 year old who has been seen using a walking stick in the past, crossed the line by picking a fight, Frosch claims he's willing to fight Paul for free. He stated, You won't fight me, will you? You haven't got the balls. You're just a fucking bully. It's pucking me off because Mike Tyson is such a legend in the boxing world and you are going to disrespect him. And you are disrespecting yourself as well, actually. You are an embarrassment. I'll fight you for free because you need to stop doing what you are doing. So, who are you rooting for in this mega fight this summer? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.